So Doug Shapley with Intermountain Wind and Solar. We thought we'd put together a video for just overall emergency preparedness, whether it's power outage or something a little more long term, and testing out, uh, in this case, a Tesla Powerwall. So what we did, I woke up in the morning, walked outside to my meter, flipped that main breaker off, and from there just let my family and myself live the rest of that day as if the grid were on. I didn't let anybody know. We just made, I just wanted to see what would happen, what they would run and, and how we'd, they would handle it. As you can see here at the main breaker on this home where we've installed a single power wall, I have turned off the main 200 amp breaker here and they're gonna roll with no grid power for the day. So here you see that it is a decent sunny day. This is about a 12 year old solar system, one we installed in the early days. And this is just, you know, we retrofitted it with the power wall, didn't upgrade the panels or anything. The, uh, the idea, I guess, is to show you what the power wall can do and what it does on a home where, yeah, the sun's out, but we're running off the battery power. So we'll see how the solar keeps up with the loads of the home. I checked in, I used my app. So at different points in the day, I would check in just to see how things were going. Um, so I, the first check-in was about just before 11 o'clock a.m. You know, and what I saw was uh, it was basically at that point just going from the power wall. So it had charged up or it was staying charged. And, and the power wall will pull from solar once it's below 95% or so. So at that point, it was still just straight from the power wall. Next check in was just after lunch. And what I saw was the power wall had dropped below that 95, 94%. So it queued solar. The solar was then powering my home as well as charging the, the power wall just back up to that 100% mark kept going through I guess the first one was at three o'clock then at then at 530 and each time you could see you know at three o'clock it, it was running from the Sun mainly some battery power depending on the loads and then about 530 is the Sun starting to wane because this was in mid February so it's starting to get dark uh, more battery power less solar and and then you know right about 1130 p.m. I checked in saw that we were down about 35 30 let me check. We were about 36%. Um, waited till about midnight and then went outside and flipped the breaker back on. And then the next morning just kind of discussed it with my wife on, you know, did she notice any differences? She noticed it was about 7.30 p.m. She was doing a load of laundry and noticed the lights flicker. Outside of that, she didn't notice anything. It didn't, it still powered the loads. That was just something she's like, I, I did notice that. But other than that, it was pretty clean. So on my home, a single power wall worked pretty well. Uh, with the size of solar system I have and, and my home's usage and the loads I have, a single power wall worked great. My solar system's not large, but it was large enough to recharge it the next day. You know, perfect for a, a short outage or even a, a prolonged scenario where, you know, I have to go day by day with what the sun can give me. Um, it, it's a great example of how these systems work. If, if I needed more power, or if I had larger loads in my home, I can add another power wall just to, to compensate for that. It's a very flexible system, which, which is, is very nice. So for those that were looking for the information on how these things work, you know, this is a great example of how it works during a power outage. If you were thinking about maybe a little more prolonged outages or, or scenarios, emergency preparedness, you know, it's a great option. Uh, it's not the only option, but it's one we provide and it's one we like a lot. We've installed about 50 of them just over the last couple of months. And so far, even on the service side, it's a great product. And a great intro here, I guess, is just for our Powerwall giveaway. We're giving away a Powerwall. The ways to enter are on our website, iamwindandsolar.com. From there, you, you can sit down with us, discuss solar on your home, or give us a reference to someone who's looking into solar. And that gets you and the person you're referring into that contest. And we'll be drawing that winner at the end of April.